everybody, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the silver color. So here it is, this is the box. You can see the slight silver trim around, which is very noticeable, even when you have it in cases. It says iPhone in silver, and uh, it's a very simple box. So let's go ahead and open this and show this to y'all. Now, of course, this is gonna be a very similar video to uh, my normal 12 Pro Max or 12 Pro video that I made because uh, it's basically the exact same phone, just a little bit bigger, slightly larger battery, and then some changes to the cameras that make it a little bit better spec wise. But are you really gonna notice the difference? I definitely wouldn't buy this over the normal 12 Pro just for the cameras. So here you can see that silver color, which I think is really, really great. Off to the distance here, you can kind of see the iPhone 10 silver color. So if you have this phone, you can kind of see there how much whiter this new 12 Pro color is and I'm just a huge fan of it. If it wasn't because I love the graphite so much, I definitely would have gone for this one, but you can see that there and uh, it looks very nice. So let's go ahead and remove the film on the front so you can see the screen and there we go. Real quick, just to show you what else is in the box, we have a lightning to USB-C, no power adapter, of course, and then we do have an Apple sticker and then a SIM eject tool in there. So very straightforward, very simple, nothing really special. This does retail for $1,100. So it is quite expensive, especially considering the 12 mini, you can get that for about over $300 less. And it has basically the same functions, like it has a beautiful screen and a lot of that. So I think the only reason to get the 12 Pro Max is if you really need that larger display. If not, just forget about it. Go for the 12, 12 mini or 12 Pro. Now worth noting, this is slightly larger than last year's 11 Pro Max. So if you have that and you're already topping out on size, I definitely would not recommend this. This is gonna feel larger than that. I do like the flat sides. That makes it easier for me to hold for some reason. It's not quite as comfortable to hold, but I just love holding flat sides more than the curved ones. And uh, yeah, you can see the screen there. It is big. Let me compare it here. This would be the size of the 12 or 12 Pro right here. So you can see that. Oh. There we go. And you can see the 12 Pro and the 12 are really good size in general for something that uh, you can watch media on and everything and it's not gonna feel small at all, especially since the 12 and the 12 Pro are bigger than last year's 11 Pro and the same size screen as the 11 and the 10R, but in a slightly smaller body, which is really great. There you can see that. And if you are curious on to how a 12 mini looks, I haven't gotten to the unboxings on those yet, but I have this model here to show you guys. And it is tiny, 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 tiny. It's very, very small. It's even smaller than the iPhone SE. So if we take a look at here, I put my phone to one side and we take a look at an iPhone 7, which is the same size as an SE. You can see that the mini, while having a larger screen is smaller. And you can see that right there. This is a very big phone and definitely meant for people with just slightly larger hands that can easily hold something like this. Cause I mean, if you get this and you don't have the hands to hold it, you're more prone to dropping. And then, you know, you drop and break something that's $1,100. That really sucks. So you have to think about everyday use, putting it in your pocket, putting it in your purse, in your car, docking it. Is that experience gonna be fine with a slightly larger phone? If yes, then this is a great device to go for. Now I did wanna show you guys how this looks with uh, cases and as well as a quick little, let me show you here with this color in while I'm texting so you can see the color as well as the size of the Pro Max. Like you see me holding this, like does it look too big? Does it not look too big? Does it look weird? I definitely would not feel comfortable texting with one hand with this phone. It just feels like I'm gonna drop it. I wouldn't risk doing that. So I would definitely hold this with two hands most of the time. And then here, how does it look while talking on the phone? You can see that it stands out a lot just because of how big it is. So this is gonna be seen from quite a way, especially with this silver color. And then just to show you real quick, here is the color, just showing you the sheen on it and uh, seeing how it reflects light, which is quite nice. Looks very clean and uh, especially with a case, like some frosted or matte case, it look very nice as well. Also with no case. Now we are gonna move on to the case portion of this video. We're gonna get started by showing you real quick how the phone looks with the wallet case here and the leather. There you go. That's how this would look, the silver 
and I think that looks kind of good. Uh, so far, I will be making a separate video on this just to talk about my experience with this over the, the time that I've had it. Uh, it's pretty okay. It's not great. It's not awesome. It's not, but it's it's neat for sure. And uh, you can see that there. But yeah, now let's go ahead and start off with the leather case, which matches it perfectly. This is Apple's leather case, which has the MagSafe, so you could put the wallet there if you wanted to. You also do have to keep in mind that even if you are getting this phone, think about it. What case do you want to put on it? That's going to make it larger and uh, maybe easier to hold. It will definitely, I think, make it easier to hold because more grip from the case would be nice, especially something like a leather case or a silicone case. But uh, keep that in mind. If you're gonna put a case on it, it's gonna make the phone larger. So for example, right here, this one right here makes it a little bit larger, but you do have this holder thingy in the back that would prevent you from dropping it. I know some people like these types of cases, so I'm just showing different types of cases. Even if you think they're ugly, hopefully the point here is to give you an idea of how these devices are gonna look in cases. Do keep an eye out for that trim, the silver trim showing through the case because I can see it right now. Some cases will show it more than others depending on the design. Here we have a slightly thinner case than the other ones. Not the thinnest case we have, but this is a nice kind of uh, middle ground where it's not too thin, not too thick, and you still have covered ports and everything around there. You will notice that I won't put some of the cases on properly and that's just because I'm kind of hurrying through this. Yeah, but I'm just kind of showing you there. Black and white I think looks really good, or the silver. And here again with the front, you can basically see that trim all around there reflecting. So maybe you like that, maybe you don't. But let's move on here to a slightly thinner case. This one is from um, Kataka, the Aramid Fiber case. I'll try to have links below all, to all these cases in the description, but none of these are sponsored or anything. They sent these out to test them out. So um, yeah, I'm not getting paid for saying this or anything. So just so you know, and uh, this one does not want to go in. There we go. You can see that there, slightly thin case. Very nice. A different look there from the other one. And something's showing through. And there we go. Let's go ahead and move on. Ooh, now we got a blue case. And I think this might work very well. Silver with the blue. One of the things that I've been talking about in other videos is that you can get your favorite colored case and it doesn't have to necessarily be your favorite color phone. So if you like the, uh, the blue color the most or just blue in general, you don't have to get the midnight or Pacific blue, you can instead get a silver or a black phone and then put a case on it that would match nicely because I think the Pacific blue plus a blue case might look good, but I like the contrast of different colors together. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thin case there. I think that looks really, really good. That contrast is just great. So let's go ahead here, move on to the next one. This is a slightly thicker case for uh, just showing you how that looks. So this has a screen protector on the front so you wouldn't have to put a screen protector on it. So there we go. And this makes the phone much harder to hold. I mean, it gives it that grip and makes you more secure about it, but it is now much bigger because of the case. So you can see that there, if I was holding it like this, it's uh, cool for gaming, cool for watching movies and everything, but uh, definitely worth noting that the size is pretty dang big. And the case actually looks pretty good with this black and white look. And last but not least, let's go here with the Toraz design and see how that looks here. And you can see that there. Pretty, pretty cool looking with the blue and the black. I do have a black side one that I showed in my 12 Pro videos, which I like more. But here again, it's just to show you and give you examples of how things are going to look. If you do want to see how they look with the clear and the silicone cases, I made a separate video about that from the ones with Apple. But uh, yeah, that pretty much sets it all for this video. I believe we went over everything, but thank you for watching. Definitely very nice devices here. If you're going for the Pro Max, this is a great color to consider, especially given that the color is quite different to last year's version. I did want to add a quick little add-on here at the end of the video. I know some people like to see colors side by side. Well, here you have the graphite right next to the silver, so you can get a quick view on how both phones are going to look. And you can see how the Apple logo reflects there on both from the side, the stainless steel. There we go. I just wanted to give you a quick look. Here they are from the front. You can see that the graphite shows a little bit less since it reflects less than that silver. 
And yeah, so that's the graphite and the silver. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.